it was just a lot of concentration. You know, I have to be better myself. I put that on me. Um, I just have to be a lot smarter. I can't um, put my team in that kind of position, um, especially in a tough place like this. That's always tough to play in. Uh, and then with 13 turnovers, that was again just like lack of concentration. We have to be dialed in, we have to be sharp with the ball, we have to make our cuts, and we have to be sure of our passes. Uh, I, think, I don't think guys were really doing that, I think. We let the crowd get to us. You, I guess you talk about the crowd, but can you diagnose maybe some of the reasons why? If it, did, did the turnovers feel like they were kind of compounding on themselves at any point in the first half? You said do the turnovers? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I just think um, when one happened, I think we didn't do a good job of just rallying together and moving on to the next one to make sure it didn't happen again. I just think um, in this type of place, in this type of atmosphere, you can't stack bad plays. I think when you have a bad play, you have to just stop right there, put a period on that uh, sentence right there and keep on moving forward. Questions for Jerron? Jerron, you had some success going in the middle. You guys were a big part of this last year. You couldn't get it done this year. Say it again? You were a big success in the middle. You were able to get things done when the only thing offensive movement in the middle today. How are you able to do that? Um, you know, I'm just staying true to what I do, doing what I do best, and, uh, you know, just competing each, in, each and every time on the court. Um, like Duran said, we just got to, you know, focus on the turnovers and get better as a team. Duran, can you talk a little bit about, about the second half? You guys did have score in the second half and played much better than you did in the first half. Just talk about that. Just, uh, we just, you know, got it together. We just got to, uh, you know, try to put two halves together. When you came out, play it was a tougher and harder team. And, uh, you know, we just got to lock in. And I feel like if we put two halves together and play the second half like we did the first half, you know, the game would be a little different. Questions for Al? Al, what did you see in that half, that press that they came out with in the first half and what was shaking you guys? Say it again? What did you see in that press that they came out with in the first half for the half-court trap and what, what was shaking you guys there? Uh, we just got to have a better concentration like J-Mo said, you know, taking care of the ball and we got to take more emphasis on that. J-Mo obviously said the crowd took you guys out a little bit. A little bit. And I guess, do you agree with that? And I guess how? Um... Uh, I mean, the crowd did have a, a, part, a partial part of it. I mean, it's a big crowd. This is a tough place to play. I mean... It is what it is. We just got to go back to the drum boy and learn from this. What, what do you learn? Just instant reaction. What do you think you can learn from it? Uh, we got to be more sharp, more dialed in. We got to be in tune with the game plan, and we got to come out and play harder, I feel like. How would you like just the team's response from Arkansas? It was their first loss. You had a chance to kind of build off your learn from that. What, what, what was kind of the team response after dealing with the team the first? Uh, uh, you know, we first. play hard. I feel like we played to the 10-4, and like Coach Miller says, and, you know, I feel like we learned from that. We played harder, and I just, you know, I feel like we can learn. Like, we learned from that game, like this game. Al, what did you think of Duke as a whole? What did you think of Duke as a whole is a great team, as you can see, and, you know, we just got to learn from this. Juwan Duran, just how tough is it to play against a guy like Zion Williamson? Oh, uh, it's, it's pretty tough, you know. Um, he's just a freak athlete, and uh, he, he knows how to get to his spots, as, as all great players do, man. Um, as a defender, I try to pride myself on defense, and uh, it's tough to take a guy out of that, especially um, when he has size on you. But it doesn't matter if it doesn't get done, then it just doesn't get done. And I think, uh, I, again, I'll take that on my shoulders for not getting it done on that side of the ball. Well, the what's, best. The, what's the message as a captain, just kind of for the team after this one, and just moving forward? Um, you know, we just got to go from top to bottom, uh, evaluate each other, uh, look each other in the eye, and see if we're really playing for each other. If we have that trust and on both sides of the ball, I think um, as we go forward. Um, nobody really, I mean, we'll remember this, but nobody will really remember it as we get closer to March. You know, we just got to play then, and as we uh, get better each and every day, I think, you know, you'll see a better team, a okay. harder fighting team. Juwan, real quick, you, you, said, you, you said you felt that the crowd got to you a little bit. When and how could you tell that? Uh, you could just tell uh, people weren't, we weren't, like, running to a huddle. Um, I, again, I take that on myself. We weren't really a together group some of the times. We look kind of uh, disjointed, pointing fingers, kind of. But I think as we, um, you know, go through these kind of adversity, uh, it's, that's the time when you have to come together. It's not when you're up by 30 or, you know what I'm saying, in a blowout win. You have to come together when you're down 15 early in the game. That's the time when it really matters.